let's put it this way. I got more access if people wanted to be on television. If that was their important goal, um, I knew I could get them. And sometimes, but usually the people you wanted weren't the ones who wanted to be on television. And candor usually involved not having a camera rolling. And so I missed the days when I could just go, show up someplace with a notebook and get a story. And now I'd have to show up someplace with uh, paraphernalia and a couple of crew members and all of this. And that made it often much more complicated. But you went for a different kind of story, too. I had to learn the, the fact that a lot of the smart, interesting page one investigative pieces are not television stories. And that it's fine to let print to take the lead on those and then find a way to tell it for television, which is more compelling. And sometimes that meant getting out of the box and going out of Washington. Are there stories that, that you felt that you wish that you could do um, had, had you been in print that now you, now you could Oh, I'm sure there are lots of stories. But in the end, I, I think it's all a trade-off. There are just certain kinds of stories you can do in television that you can't do in print, and certain kind of print stories that you can't do on, do on television. And they, uh, the two mediums should be complementary. And I think they can be, and are increasingly are more and more in an era where we have blogs and people with their own little iPhones taking pictures. I mean, I think that there we are telling kind of a different kind of story now in a different way. So I don't miss it as much. Like I'm, I'm writing a blog which allows me to think in a different way than I would if I had a camera in my hand. And that's something I didn't have even five years ago.